life on this channel the miss african russia 2021 it has been a very serious journey for everybody trying to know who is going to be the next miss africa russia 2021 and now we finally have someone and today we're going to have a word of interview with her let's try to know who she is and what she has in store for africans in russia stay tuned Hello everyone, my name is Enya Chilongoshi, a small girl from a small village in the district of Mpongwe in the Copper Belt province of Zambia. I'm the first born of seven with four sisters and two brothers. Growing up in a village, big dreams would almost seem impossible to achieve, especially as a girl child. Financial problems always came my way in my primary school years. Many times I got kicked out of class because my school fees were not paid. But no matter how much this broke my heart, my spirit and determination stayed strong. This is why I am here today to be an example to the young girls and boys out there who are having it hard in life. You can be who you want to be and where you want to be as long as you have the right tools and put in the right work. Oh, how do you feel becoming the Miss Africa Russia 2021? Well, I'm very happy and excited and I'm looking forward to all the opportunities that Miss Africa Russia has to offer me from this big pageant that took place. Wow, wow, that's amazing, that's amazing. Okay, now that you're the Miss African Russia, what should we, Africans in Russia, what should we be expecting from you? Well, um... Uh, I believe just the way I performed, the way I am as a winner today is already a lot of uh, encouragement to most Africans out there. I'm already an inspiration. I don't have to say much. Just me, the way I am, what I did, how I did it is already an inspiration. And the Africans should expect that uh, I will try my best to work in hand with Miss Africa Russia. Uh, to even make a bigger event next year. Going back to what you said during your interview before the competition, when you were asked or if you were the, uh, the next Miss Africa Russia. First of all, with the prize, I would use the prize to help my family back home because they're in need of this money. After all, charity does begin at home. And with my crown, I'd use this, I'd use my platform to be able to invite more people to compete in Miss Africa Russia in the following years to come. Well, like I said, I stick to my words. I said charity begins at home, so with the prize, I'm going to use this to help my family back home. Also, with my crown, I'm going to use my platform to help other young girls out there to discover themselves, to discover new skills and to take part in pageants like this because you never really know until you try. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And now you are the Miss Africa. I think by now it doesn't matter if she's from Zambia, if she's from any part of the world, any part of the country in, in Africa. Do you have any word for, for Africans in Russia, especially your supporters and the likes like that? Well, to my supporters, I would like to say a big thank you. I am almost nothing without you. <laughs> you made me go this far. There are some times when I wanted to drop out. I felt like it was overwhelming because I had a lot of schoolwork and a lot of stuff to do in preparation for the event. But you pushed me to keep going. And if I quit, I wouldn't have been here. So thank you very much. And to the Africans out there, here in Russia especially, let's keep working together to put Africa on the map. Let's join hands. We can do big things. Wow, that is amazing. And I think our next Miss Africa in Russia 2021, Hannah Chilongoshi, all the way from Zambia, is actually telling us and confirming to us right now that Africans can really do great things, not minding wherever we are and whoever we are. Trying to tell us that our skin doesn't matter. And she has tried to explain to us, just go get it. Don't think about it. Don't think too much. Don't be disturbed. Don't doubt it. Even if you feel like giving, even if you feel like giving up, just do it. Yes. And have confidence in yourself. Look at me. I almost gave up. Wow. <laughs>
Wow, that's amazing. Anna Chilunguchi, we are so glad to have you on this channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everybody, my name is Habiba. The, the meaning of my name is love. My parents gave me that because of course they love me. I am from Djibouti. Djibouti is one of the smallest country in Africa. It's located on Horn of Africa. I love cooking. I love doing makeup. And you see I am wearing a beautiful makeup. I love learning more languages. And I speak more than five languages. Hey everybody, this is Habiba from Djibouti. I'm a student in Russia and actually I'm first runner up in East Africa, Russia. I'm really, really, really happy and glad of this uh, victory for me. And I really want to encourage everybody uh, who want to participate this common this competition. I am glad to be the first runner of, up of Miss Africa Russia and I want to congratulate this um, organizer because they did really 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 well and it was really difficult for them to um, be with all these girls from other countries and everything like that so I just want to tell them thank you for everything they have done for us. Bonjour, hello, my name is Nisa. I'm 21 years old, currently studying management. I'm a real sunshine who likes to put smile on people's faces, bring something new and positive into their lives. It's important to me and gives me satisfaction. I love children. I like playing volleyball, dancing, reading. In our lives, we all have ups and downs. But me, when I want to give up, I talk to myself and say, Neisa, you are very determined and courageous girl. You know that you has, have harder to inspire, to set an example. And I just keep moving. Here is who I am, Neisa. Perfect. I'm so proud to represent my country, my family, my friends at Miss Africa Russia 2021. About my they believe in empowerment of women. They, they are here to promote the African culture, the image, the values, and um, they believe also in you. What an adventure from start to the end. I fought. We all fought. Let's take myself like uh, an example. I'm Asian. I have the African blood. But my country, Haiti, is not in Africa. But because of our origin, our history, and being the first black republic in the world, they accepted me. But there are some who say, why you don't want to participate in African things? Your country is not in Africa. Do you want to put your country in Africa now? And I said, you are wrong. I proved it. I paved the way for the Asians. And I feel like so, so proud, happy. I wanted to be an example. I am and will continue to be an example. My message today is pursue your goals, be yourself, no matter what people say, because if you believe in you, they are going to believe in you also. And today, I'm going to give you my philosophy of life. You were born to stand out, not to try to fit in. 